Okay, we're back live here at EMC World, wrapping up day two. This is Silicon Angle's exclusive coverage. We're live on the ground in Las Vegas. And this is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract a signal from the noise, and we have a very special guest here. My co-host, of course, is Dave Vellante, wikibon.org. And, and we have our, our special friend, and, and our new best friend. Our new best friend. <laughs> Richard Schlesinger, a network broadcast, a real professional correspondent. You've done tons of great work. Uh, the body of work that you've done in the business has been fantastic, 48 hours, among other things. Right. And you're here at EMC Thank World you. doing some work there. Yeah. Welcome to theCUBE. Thanks, this, this is great. This is, like, yeah. this is like having the shoe on the other foot. You're going to interview me. This is theCUBE. <laughs> you've interviewed us at the uh, EMC Big Data Special. And we had a great time. Great time, you're fantastic. Dave and I were both in awe of like, that's how a pro does it. Maybe we can up our, up our game and, and, uh -huh. on theCUBE sometime. Yeah, we're hackers. So it's uh, like, yeah. you know, so how, I didn't understand a word you guys said. <laughs> <laughs> you were great at it. How, how are you? So how's things? Things are great. You know, I mean, I love coming to these events um, because it's like, I describe it as, you know, an, an alien universe. It's like with these three guys, you know, these are the guys <laughs> going to run the world. So uh, it's good to know uh, what's going on in the, in the tech world. And if I may coin a phrase, extract the signal from the noise. Yeah. <laughs> so that's always fun. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a whole learning experience for me. I mean, there's a treasure trove of stories here. I mean, you, you're, you're a storyteller, and, and you let the pros do their thing. You let the guys like right. EMC look under the hood. I mean, you don't really get under the hood, and, and you know, but you have to talk to folks and do that. But there's a lot of good stories here developing. I mean, the future is unwritten. Right. And you got guys like Paul Moritz. You know, that's a really good way of saying it. History is being written as we speak, right? Yeah. Um, I become fascinated with the whole big data thing, big data, fast data, and all the challenges, the opportunities and the challenges. I mean, I really think it's going to change the world. Any observations as you look at the, at, at look at the signals, smoke, smoke signals coming out of the show? I mean, because you have fresh perspective. You're not in the weeds like the geeks, but you're looking right. at it from a landscape and a holistic I look perspective. At it, right, you look at it how it works. I look at it in, in, in what it can do, what the work can do. Yeah. And, you know, you look at New York City, right? New York City's looking at looking at big data. I mean, you know, to your audience, this is this is old hat, but to you know, to the real world, if you will, this is huge. New York's using big data to fix, to determine where potholes need to be fixed, and uh, and stuff like that. I mean, this type of thing is going to change the world. Yeah. Well, one of the things that you know we've been tracking is, and I don't know if you saw it, but GE put a big investment into one of in EMC's in Pivotal. Yeah. In Pivotal and this whole Internet of Things and the industrial yeah, internet. Yeah, the Internet I mean, of Things. You know, there was, I, I, was, I was getting ready, I have to do a couple of interviews here tomorrow, um, and I was, I was reading up on this, and the GE guy said that machine-to-machine -machine communication is going to change the way they do business. It's an amazing quote, if you think about it. I mean, this is General Electric for Christ's sake. It's amazing, right? General Electric, and, and you know, I'm sure EMC sells a lot of stuff to General Electric, yeah. you know, storage and, and so forth, but now they're, essentially partners and go into business to essentially change the world. But I mean, this, is, uh, who, this who, is... Who called EMC General Electric last year? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you, 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 you did, John. He's the visionary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, true. but their portfolio, I and mean, you look at Chuchi, he's proud. He's got four brands, four companies. That's GE in the making. If yeah. EMC continues on their torrid pace of innovation, they are the, they're the tech version of GE. But isn't it interesting though that, 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 that one of the oldest industrial companies in, in, in America is now you know, trying to get on board with, with big data and, 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 and the analytic part of it. Um, I just, you know, this is you know, when we said earlier that history is being written. I mean, these are the guys who are, you know, these are the guys who are doing it. So being here is, uh, for a journalist is, uh, is quite an experience. Any stories you're kicking the tires on here? Do you see any stories? You, get your, you must uh, see a lot of things popping out. You know, probably not for the network because you know, general, general uh, media, you know, it's, hard to, it's hard to explain a lot of this stuff. We, we, have done, we have done a lot of stories on the results of uh, data innovation generally. Yeah. And that's like, that's incredible. You know, we're, we're, you know, you look at the technology that we're able to use now just doing our work. It's unbelievable, it's, it's isn't unbelievable. it? Right. It's completely changed, completely changed the way we do <laughs> business, which is why I thought this quote from the guy at GE was interesting, because he said that, you know, they're, they're, they know that their business is going to change. Well, I love, the, so, I love the fact of how we met, right? So we did, the, the first Cube we ever did was EMC World in 2010. Yeah. And we have, you know, you see our little cameras and our, and our crew and our, right. and our equipment, we drop it in, and then EMC TV starts. Right, and so they're right. doing their whole thing, and 
There's so many people that want to consume this type of information. It's a real hunger for it. I mean, there's yeah. something like 5,000 people here, right? Oh, many more, yeah. actually. Uh, I think it's 15 is the number. It's really? 16,000. Oh, the guy, the yeah. guy who met me told me it was like 5,000. Yeah, 15,000 yeah, live. He hadn't finished counting, but and, uh, so yeah, that's so a lot of people. Well, Richard, yeah, what's on the plan for tomorrow? What's your schedule like here? What are some of the things you've I'm, done here? Uh, I'm uh, doing some stuff at the CIO Summit about uh, big data and security, which I'm really interested in with our code mm. yellow of uh, RSA. And uh, then I'm doing a, a, an interview with Paul Mar Maritz, uh, who's you know a real visionary. Um, we did a session with him in Atlanta at another CIO Summit that was just, I mean, blow away fascinating. Oh, you were down in Atlanta? Yeah. So oh, okay. here's how that went. So I, 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 said to some, I said to Paul, you know, I asked him a question, blah, 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 blah. 15 minutes off the cuff, right? This guy's talking That's about- That's the thing with Maritz, you're one it's, question it's, and you're done. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's, it's like the easiest interview I've ever done. You know, he flies his own- you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know he flies his own plane? Yeah, I know, so do I. So we, uh, we, uh, really? we talked about that. He flew yeah. down here. I from expect he's a, yeah, I expect he's a better pilot than I am. A lot of data coming off he those might have a faster. He might have a faster plane than you. I would imagine A billion dollars that he has in the bank. I would imagine he <laughs> But is he happy? <laughs> he looked happy on stage. Happy? I, think, yeah. I think, honestly, uh, taking the shackles off from running a public company and being the Picasso to paint a fresh picture on That's a canvas way to put it, yeah. is, is something refreshing. I can see it in his, in his spring and his step, so he looks like he's, he's refreshed, and, yeah. and he doesn't have to work, right? Uh, I just think, and you know, Pat well, These Gels guys have to work. I mean, they don't have to work for the Well, for, for the, the emotional. Job, but they have to work, I mean. Well, Pat Gelsing was on theCUBE, and we kind of talked to him about it. You know, in 2010, all this stuff happened, and the market's changed. What he basically said is that, hey, I did the whole big data thing at, at, at EMC, and it's my passion. I did some things, and Maritz wanted to do the cloud apps thing. Yeah. We ended up got caught running all this stuff here, it was our distracting, so let's just give it to Goulden, and we'll go build that out. And it's like, that's what happened, yeah, I, so. I, I sat next to, to Goulden at a dinner in, in Atlanta. What a fascinating guy he is. I mean, all these guys, it's just, yeah. Again, I, I come back to, you know, from my frame of reference, it's an alien culture. You know, so, it's, so everything's a learning experience. I got to ask you guys while I have you, I mean, I yeah. you know, <laughs> got to flip it around on us, you know. <laughs> turn the tables back around. I mean, what do you see as the big stories here? Well, so this whole, the, the whole notion of, of storage as a box that you put data into, it's getting blown away. Yeah. And, and you know, the thing John said to me years ago, Dave, if you want to know what's happening in the enterprise, watch what's happening at Google and, and Amazon, and that's what's going to happen in the enterprise five or six years from now, and it's exactly how it's playing exactly. out. Exactly, and that's yeah. actually one of the questions that I, that I asked uh, Paul was, you know, how, how, how hard was it for you to get used to the idea that, you know, you, you big enterprise guys can learn a lot from the consumer guys? And it was a tough, it was a tough adjustment yeah. for that. The other thing that I would share with you is that what's interesting to me is that the enterprise, people look at this enterprise space and they, they want to put people, these squares and the square holes and the round pegs and the round holes. And it's not the enterprise anymore, it's the world. So you have a globalization economy going on and you also have the enterprise, it's, it's irrelevant the way it used to be, it's a whole nother error. And that is being defined by a whole nother level of, of, of value creation, how computing's done and mobile and connected systems do that and to me, looking back as a student of, of computing history, we are in an era now that is going to look like what IBM did in the yeah. 40s. Really so IBM in the 40s ran the table because they were the monolithic entity that right. brought computing. And what we're living in now is a monolithic entity, but it's called everybody. Yeah. And that's all the vendors, it's an, it's an operating system. And that's what the cloud brings. So to me, we heard, uh, we heard that today from their CTO. Yeah. Imagine a world where everything's stored for almost forever. Unlimited compute power, unlimited memory. It's a little scary. And then the other thing is open source, right? The open source right. is give you basically, not only free, but you can do whatever you want right. with it, is really taking the world by and storm, it's, it's taking so, the industry you know, by storm. It's so democratic. It's like, you know, when blogging first started, right? Anybody with a computer in their basement could, could be a publisher, right? Right. And, and I, you know, this is sort of the same thing. It's like everybody, it's, it's just. It's, Wikinomics, it's, baby. <laughs> you know, <that's>, uh, <laughs> couldn't have put it better myself. So, do you guys, well, you guys probably are, are, are in a hurry, but. Um, uh, no, this is great. Are you? Is, yeah. We're live. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> we have unlimited <laughs> yeah. air, air, air time. <laughs> give, me, give me a bottle of water, I'll stay forever. <laughs> um, so, you, 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 you see this whole open source thing as like a, a huge story for you, right? Yeah, so open what about, source. What about the uh, what about on the non-geek side of the thing? What about I mean, are you excited by the potential that 
that big data and analytics has. Yeah, I mean, I am blown away. I call real, yeah. you know, the real so we world. Just had, we just had Cheryl Chamberlain on, who's EMC's Women of the World, and you're seeing conversations shift to business value. It's the business leaders now that are changing. That's also spreading into society. People are learning how to code at a young age. It's hitting consumers. So the consumer world that we knew of uh, brick and mortars, yeah. um, which was physical world, um, had nothing to do with tech. But all those actions are going to be em 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 embracing tech in a way that's not going to be geeky like this. It's going to be normal and natural. Right. I think Google Glass is the one step towards you know, this kind of Star Trek-like, but I think that's an indication that you're going to start to see computing and tech come to the consumers, but it has to be natural. Right, I think we talked about this when we were, when we were together the last time, which is what's it going to look like to guys like me? What's all of this you know, huge blast of data going to look like when I sit down at my it should laptop. be It should be invisible to you at some right. level. It should be ultimately benefits. That's the challenge, isn't it? Yes and no, right? I mean, so we've already started to see it. You know, if you, whenever you're flying back, you're flying back next to somebody. Right. right? You used to, used to fly empty planes. Right. Well, data and big data is <laughs> helping the airlines <laughs> fill up planes. Some of the best tech values. It's good in a way, because they're making some money, and you know, but on the other hand. Well, <laughs> we, Richard, we got to wrap up. Go. Great to see Sorry. you. Great no, to we have a <laughs> <on> week. <laughs> yeah. no, we'd like to have you come back. We love working with you. It's always and, uh, a pleasure, yeah. You're doing some great work. We have right. big admirers. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll be right back with Henrique from uh, EMC, who manages the SAP relationship. We're going to talk business, speed of business, EMC, all that business value. Quick check-in with our friend Henrique. Be right back.